Welcome to this in-depth tutorial on using Quiltler. Let's get started. Default patterns are patterns provided to you when you download the application. They are the bread and butter of your designs. Custom patterns are patterns that you import from your own media and saved quilts, or quilt blankets or blocks that you have designed out and saved for editing in the future. Let's get started creating a custom block using default patterns. We will select triangle block and then hit Next. This is where we can create color schemes to be used for our designs. I could create a new color scheme and give it a name, but since I already have schemes that I want to use, I'll just go ahead and hit Cancel and then hit Use Edit Gray Orange Scheme. You can see that I have a few colors here, but I want to add one more, so I'll tap Add a New Color. I'll call this color Red Orange. Now you can see that a color picker has popped up. I'll switch from RGB to HSB and drag the color picker into a nice red-orange color and then hit Done. You can see that the new color is added to my color collection. Let's go ahead now and create our block by hitting Create Pattern. We will give this block a height of 2 and a width of 2 and then hit Done. This is the Quilt Design Center. This is where you will perform all of your designs. You can rotate a block, which will rotate the block 90 degrees on each selection. You can swap colors for the foreground of the block or the background of the block by selecting either foreground or background. And then you can select a color and then simply tap on the block you want to change colors for. The Swap Blocks button allows us to pick between blocks we have selected. Since we only have the triangle block, because that is what we will be using for our quilt block, we don't have to select anything here. Let's switch back over to Rotate Block and rotate the block so they are all pointing towards the center. Now that they are all pointing towards the center, let's apply some colors by switching to Swap Colors and select Colors and Painting Our Blocks. I can paint the point of the block by leaving the selection on Foreground Color and then selecting the color I want to use and then tapping on the block I want to paint. To paint the background, I'll tap Background Color and then select the color I want to tap and then tap the block I want to color. Now that I've designed my block, I'm going to export it. I'll tap Menu in the top right corner of the screen and then select Save Quilt Image to Camera Roll. I could save the block for later editing by Save Quilt for loading, but I don't want to save this one quite yet. Let's hit Done. Now we are back at the main menu. Let's go ahead and use that custom block and other ones that I've created previously. We select the Custom Patterns tab and then we hit Add Edit Custom Patterns. Let's go ahead and add the new pattern profile and call it Aeroblocks2 and hit Done. You can see that a new pattern has been added. Let's tap Edit Aeroblocks2. This takes us where we can add our media to our profiles. We will tap Add New Pattern Block and call it Aeroblock1. This will let us select media from our photo library or take pictures. Since we have added the photo to our photo library, we will tap the photo icon in the bottom right, which will open our photo library. We'll go ahead and select the block we created. Now we can scale our import so we get the exact proportion we want. Then we can hit the check mark to add it. You can see that it has been added. Let's add a few more that I created earlier to this profile. Now that we have our custom profile created, let's create a quilt or pattern by tapping Create Pattern in the top right. We will give this quilt a width of 6 and a height of 6. You can see that it automatically populates it with the first block in our list. We can then rotate and swap patterns all we want. Down in the Swap Pattern Selection box, you can see that we actually get a summary of how many blocks we need for each type in order to make this quilt, and it updates as we swap between patterns in the Design box. Now that we have a design, let's go ahead and save it. Let's hit Menu in the top right. We can save the quilt image to the camera roll for sharing and viewing later, or we can save the quilt for loading. Let's actually use the yard estimator before we move on. We will tap Estimate Yard Requirements from the selection, and then we can select how wide the fabric is and enter a height and width of each piece that we want to cut. The calculator already knows how many pieces we need of each piece from the design we laid out earlier. Let's put 54 for the fabric width, and we want each piece of fabric to be 12 inches wide by 12 inches high. If we hit Calculate, we can see that we get a summary of how much yardage we would need for that block. You can repeat this step for each block. 
Let's hit the back button in the top left corner and hit the menu button again in the top right. Let's go ahead and hit save quilt for loading. We will then call this quilt arrow block design and tap done. We get a dialog that tells us that it has been saved. Let's hit done in the top left corner of the screen. Now we can view our saved quilt by tapping the saved quilt button in the top right. To edit any of our previously saved designs, we can simply tap on the arrow and we are taken directly back into the quilt for more updates. Let's make a few more changes to save the quilt and save it again. Tap the menu button in the top right and then tap save quilt for loading. You can see that we can either save over our current design or we can duplicate it and save it as a new design. Let's go ahead and save a new one and call it Arrow Block Design 2 and hit Done. We have now duplicated our designs, so if we want to compare them over time to decide which one would go best, we can. This has been a tutorial covering all of the features and functionalities of Quiltler. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope this helps you fully utilize the toolset behind Quiltler. If you are looking for a more advanced design tool with the capability to have overlapping blocks and much more, you can find a link to it by tapping the Help button in the top right and selecting Get Quiltler 2. If you have comments, questions, concerns, want to report a bug, or request a feature or new blocks, feel free to reach out on the Facebook page, also available from the Help button, or send me an email. Thanks for watching.